A common question I get asked in clinic is why are my muscles so tight? In this video, I wanna give you a unique perspective as to why this may be the case. For those who don't know me, my name is Dr. Sonam and I'm an interventional sport medicine doctor located up here in Canada. Let's chat a little bit more about why your muscles may be tight. If you find any of these educational videos helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you like, comment, subscribe, just so that this information can reach other people. Let's get into talking about why your muscles may be tight. Most people will come into my clinical practice and ask me, why are my muscles so tight? You know, is it due to poor mobility? Is it due to the fact that I'm not stretching? Is it due to the fact that I'm injured in an area? And while all these may contribute to the problem to some degree, I actually think that none of these are the primary contributor to tight muscles. And I actually believe that a lot of tight muscles is a nervous system issue. Now this is a, an unpopular belief and one that you don't hear enough of, but the more and more I practice clinical medicine, the more and more I realize the nervous system and the connection between the mind and body are a lot more fluid than you think. So the mind is not separated from the body and where does the mind begin and the body end? Or where does the body begin and the mind end? And I think there's a really strong interplay between the two. So for those who don't know, we have a nervous system and our nervous system is made out of the autonomic nervous system, which is separated into parasympathetic and sympathetic systems. Sympathetic system is your fight and flight. It is your adrenaline junkie system. It keeps you alive but it's also the system that starts to act when you're stressed, when, you're, when you have a lot of stressors in your life, when you have a lot of trauma in your life, when you have other things you have to deal with. The parasympathetic system is rest and digest. And the way that the parasympathetic system works is it relaxes you, it uh, stimulates your vagus nerve, it helps relax the body so it can repair itself. Now the problem comes is, you know, the sympathetic system can actually store a lot of tension in the body. And we're starting to realize that muscles and fascia are innervated and can respond to the parasympathetic and sympathetic system. Think about it. When you're really stressed, you're gonna realize that these arms start to go up and you get really, really tense. And the problem is that a lot of the times you may not feel stressed up here, but your body can actually store a lot of stress. And we're realizing that the body stores trauma, whether it's physical trauma, emotional trauma, financial trauma, and this is starting to become more and more understood. I found that this has gotten much worse since COVID, mainly because COVID was a very traumatic experience for a lot of people. And a lot of people didn't know how to essentially deal with the unknowns in our day-to-day -day lives. Now, my biggest issue with trying to talk to people about this is most people want in the Western medical system to just be given something to solve their issues. And by alluding to the fact that a lot of this muscular tension can be actually a, a psychological phenomenon or a nervous system overactivity, people don't wanna hear that and they just wanna hear that they need to stretch more or, or move more. And while that's important, I think it's also important to think about the other side of the, 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 the pie here. And what that means is it means to think about that, that internal psyche and how your nervous system is functioning. Now I've believed that actually in the last year or so, more and more people are more open to understanding that the body does hold on to trauma and stress. And if we don't address that underlying trauma or stress, we can't under, we can't address the underlying tension that we feel. And the problem is when we have too much tension on board, you get tight muscles, you get tight fascias, you don't move well, you have a higher risk of injury, higher risk of chronic pain, and higher risk of actually generalized health, uh, chronic health conditions as well. So what I'm recommending to a lot of my patients is I'm trying to explain to them that there is an element that when the nervous system is overactive and you feel this fight or flight, it gets locked in the body. And even though your brain may forget about it, your body remembers. And I have real, some really good resources that I like to send people to in terms of reading some books, looking online, looking at certain individuals that I'm gonna link all in my description below. But it's a really nice starting point to understand how the body can truly lock in some of these emotions. And you know, how do we address this? So yes, I'll give people some educational resources, but anywhere from things like mindfulness to things like hobbies that put you into the flow state, time in nature, all of these things are important. Yes, you can biohack yourself, you know, to, to the end of the world, but the problem is until you get to the bottom of the, the psychological part of things, you may not see the true benefits that you're looking for. So I think it's really important to, you know, treat the person as a whole. Even though I'm a sport medicine physician that treats muscles, tendon, and joint injuries, the problem is the brain connects to a lot of the body and the brain can affect a lot of the body. So if you don't treat the nervous system as a whole, you miss an entirely different aspect of somebody that may actually help get to the bottom of their issues. Just some food to, for thought to think about. So this wraps up 
a unique perspective as to why people may be tight all over. If you have any questions about this, or you want to talk about this more down below, uh, leave a comment. And if any of you are interested in seeing more videos specifically about this, let me know and I'll work on them. For now, that's all.